Athletics at Texas A&M. And with that, the search for a new athletic director in Aggieland begins. But why now? This was done uh, amicably between the two of us over time. Uh, we didn't hurry it up. We simply walked through uh, uh, areas where he was had concerns and I had concerns and arrived ultimately at the uh, a friendly resolution. Burns' contract expires in August 2013, and he had planned to retire then. Instead, he will continue assisting the athletic department with the move to the SEC as a special advisor to the university until August 31st this year when he will retire. The university will pay Burns the remainder of his salary, $684,794. There are so many fish out there waiting to be caught, you can't imagine what I'm looking forward to there. And the pile of reading on my, on my nightstand just seems to grow higher because I'm always doing something else. So there's a lot of work. During his time leading the Aggie Athletic Department, he oversaw more than $110 million in facility improvements. Because of the way we changed the culture, we are getting better across the board and able to attract better athletes today than we ever could in the past. But 10 years and 45 Big 12 championships later, it's continuing the success in the classroom that most concerns burn. We can't back off on the academic support that we put into them. We have to recruit the kind of kids that are going to be able to compete in the classroom at Texas A&M.